The Senator from North Carolina. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, some of my colleagues may know, we recently lost uh, Kaya, a very special service dog that was a frequent visitor to the Senate. Kaya's life was devoted to helping veterans with PTSD, and she quickly became an ambassador for veterans and service dogs everywhere. A few years ago, I ran into Kaya and her owner, Cole. Actually, I was walking down the street at a street corner where we first met each other. As a dog lover myself, I stopped to say hello. After I learned about Cole's service history, I invited Cole and Kaya to meeting in my office. In that meeting, I learned something very important, that the Department of Veterans Affairs does not cover the cost of service animals for veterans with post-traumatic stress which can cost upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. From that moment that I met Kaya, I knew she was special. She was not just a service dog. <clears throat> she was the model of a service dog. She had a gentle nature, kind eyes, and a wagging tail. But I could say that about my two dogs, Mitch and Theo. I could even say that I'm proud of the obedience training that I've given them. But Kaya's different. She knew all the commands my dogs know, but she also knew how to be there for Cole without even a single command. And like so many other veterans, see these service dogs are not just taught to sit and stay and fetch. They're taught to actually see what the veteran's experiencing. They know when to go by that veteran's side just to give them a source of calmness. They actually know how to wake up a veteran who may be in the middle of a nightmare. They know when a veteran and a service member who is disabled needs something, they can point to it and they'll retrieve it. These are extraordinary dogs, so you can understand why it may be expensive to get them up to that level, and so few dogs are like Kaya. But she was a special one. Cole and I, when we met, discussed approaches that we could use to try and get funding for service dogs in the VA. It's one of the reasons why it culminated in what we call the PAWS Act for Veterans Therapy. I later introduced that bill in the Senate. The legislation established a pilot program to provide canine training to eligible veterans diagnosed with PTSD. In addition to Kaya's unwavering devotion, that both comfort and support dogs like her, countless veterans. She also educated Congress in this country about the role dogs can play in helping veterans that are struggling with the invisible wounds of war. Because of Kaya's effort, and I guess a little bit from Cole, we were able to pass the Pause for Veterans Therapy Act, and it was signed into law in 2021. Now, thanks to Kaya, Cole, and the organizations like Canines for Warriors, veterans across the country are beginning to benefit from service dog programs that have a track record of reducing symptoms associated with PTSD. But I also have to say we've got a lot of work to do. The PAWS Act was only the beginning of several steps that we need to take to make these incredible animals available to more veterans. Because for everyone that's being served today, there are dozens who are not. The nearly 17 veteran suicides this country experienced each and every day makes clear that the PAWS Act is only the beginning and it's not the end, and this is a step on a very long journey. We must work to ensure the Department of Veterans Affairs is implementing the PAWS Act as we intend it by partnering with service dog organizations to connect as many veterans as possible with canine training to improve well-being and help veterans thrive. I've made this a top priority to do everything possible to combat veteran suicide. And this legislation is another tool in the toolbox for our men and women who have served. The passing of Kaya is a true loss. Uh, she was sick and Cole had to may, make the appropriate but heartbreaking decision to release her from her misery. Cole, thank you for sharing Kaya with us. Kaya, thank you for bringing comfort, hope, and healing. 
Thank you, Mr. President.